After seven consecutive months of downward pressure on pricing and increasing inventory levels, we're starting to see a scenario where sellers are adjusting to a new norm. We're seeing price decreases in every major category in every quadrant, but home buyers are still expecting further discounts in the market, so they're still holding off on their purchasing. April was the first month that the Calgary Real Estate Board released separate stats packages for the surrounding areas and the City of Calgary. It was also the first month we provided our sales information and sales data by district. This is a good news scenario and the next step in our process of being able to provide members with more information and better business intelligence based on the information we've been provided with by the City of Calgary. So speaking of the surrounding areas, Okotoks and Airdrie continue to see easing in sales price and sales volume, but interesting to note that Cochrane actually saw improvement in their sales volume, driven mainly by the 300 to 400,000 detached segment of their market. I'm sure it comes as no surprise that once again, year over year in the month of April, prices were down across all districts. So we've got a bit of a good news, bad news scenario in Calgary right now. The good news is we saw month over month increases in sales volume in four key districts, Northwest, West, East, and City Centre. But the bad news is the City Centre district is struggling and it's being driven by the apartment segment of the market. We haven't seen inventory levels in the apartment segment like this since 2010. We're all working in this challenging market. It's gonna be really important to stay positive because this market will get better.